we are going to learn how to uh, process in Photoshop. What we really want to do over here is that on my WhatsApp group, I can see that some of them were arguing about process, about a whole lot of things there. Some made, some were on point, some was just beating uh, the push. Yes. As we can see, you know, Photoshop uh, is not just a, a it's not just for a play you have to learn it and before you say anything try and make a research and then try your possible best to know what you are really talking about yes uh, for instance what is process or what what do you call process in photoshop let's see something let's head over to our photoshop over for this particular lesson what we really want to learn over here is that this was the picture i want to, i want you to see the concept this was how the picture was and then i put up so many things to come by this now if i'm to do different images let's say 100 pieces 100 images or let's say 500 in a short period of time let's say a day i get client about uh, let's say uh, 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 let's say let us take maybe uh, uh, 20 clients they come and take photo shoot with me and each of them have at least 50 images that i have to do what i have to to edit to retouch or to color grid or to just make up something for them now if i don't have a process where i can just apply in, in some of the images that have the same or that have to do the same correction you know i can't work with that many due to that i may give up with a poor production or you know give up with something that they won't like and that is where the the the, the, the your management and your production through that photography people a whole lot of people will run away from you you get that yes so process is not like you have a curve in your photoshop or you have levels in your photoshop you can also start doing that that one is better than process no you are wrong it's not just like that you get that i have a process i have a curve here this is caves this is caves you get that now if i take this is curve and i say okay i come and choose red then i start to do you know you end up spoiling the picture you know the the, the kind of texture that the the, the subject is supposed to have you you just drag unnecessary dragon at the end of the day you end up spoiling everything but if you take your time to work with the to to use the curve use levels use hsl to you combine these three or even more to come up with a process and then anytime you are working with it's so many so many images at a time at a limited time when you realize that this image and this image it can go with this process in a in a way that the correction can go to each other without any problem and then you just apply it it is not like you are when you when you have this and you have this you can start doing that no that is not the case that we are dealing with you get that that is not the case you get that so this is photoshop photoshop is for both graphic designers and what is it in uh, photographers so before you become this kind of pro person then you have to know photoshop you have to know what lightroom adobe lightroom you may even working with adobe lightroom without working with uh, photoshop and then this is vice versa you can be working with photoshop and you can work with what adobe lightroom so there is just a combination when you combine these these two things you produce good works you produce you 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 know you, you get more customers because you are working with two best uh, what uh, softwares you get that so i don't want to talk much on this particular thing but what i really want to do is that i just want to show you how to do what how to install the process in photoshop you get that so in this case when i move to uh, this particular distance let me come and select this particular image over here and then i come to filter then i go to what camera raw filter this was where the problem was popping up you get that yes so in this case i i'm waiting for my raw my camera raw filter panel to show up so that i'll show you 
what I am just talking about. You get that? Yes. So let's just wait and see what we are going to get at the end of this particular skeleton. Yes. So let's wait and see. Yes. That is the camera raw filter editing panel. You get that? Where you can edit your pictures, you can do everything on that, Ch change that, do the color correction manually before you come to the end. You get that? Yes. And when you click on this particular design, that's the process. That's the process where you can do it. You can use you can use Lightroom to to to, to create presets. You get that. And then when you are using Photoshop to do the to create the presets, that is where you create uh, this pattern, of, this kind of three D, uh, this kind of, this kind of three uh, D lacks and those things. You get that. Yes. And that one too is part of the presets. That's Photoshop presets. You get that. But after creating any preset from Lightroom or any software then and you want to move that one to here then you can also do that you get that so these are all the presets you and photoshop itself have their default process where you will get color creating uh, black and white curves green sharpen uh vignetting all those those are photoshop default presets and these are the presets that i just created though you get that yes and when I check on the user presets over here, I love using this kind of user presets because over there where I have different presets and it depends on what image I'm working with. You get that. This is camera raw VS code and this is what I'll get there. So this particular image, it, this particular presets cannot work with this image because you can see that just call it. So when you have, you save down those presets, you know, it helps you get some kind of work done in a limited time you get that in a limited time so all this process is very good and you can easily use it just look at Bridget Hotel look at how the images you get that so uh, that is how a uh, process when you install it that is how you can use it and you can easily work with so many images at a time this is one of the favorite come up with come up with I love using Camel Grid. I, in my earlier tutorials, you can see that I've been using this particular Camel Grid because it's very good. You get that? Yes. Look at how it has turned the picture. And it looks so beautiful. But when you have something like this, when you maybe I click on this particular this thing, what I really need to do is that over this particular display is very important. I can make changes on it, on this tool, all this. So anything you work with over here, so it means that over here is what? Minus 8. And this place is 0 0.5 and here is what 0 0.7 so that is the the process that the preset that i created here the the, the the kind of dragging and those dragging that I, I just done over here that makes it process here but before you do that you have to save that particular process so that you can reuse it at a time anytime you have an image that is uh, uh, that is similar to this kind of image and you see that that particular process can work with that that can do the color correction for you then you do that that is what the process is all about yes so it's not about using all that kind of thing that you you, you, you talk of so let's just uh, cancel everything and let's see what we're going to do so this to install the process all what you need to do over here is that this is over thousand okay this is over thousand process and this is color uh, lookup 3d lux process okay you get that look at what they say color lookup 3d lux what process for what for photoshop you get that yes so you know i don't want to talk much on this particular thing because we are wasting much of our time so over this particular thing, i'm just going to do a to right click and then extract it and when i extract it this has a password you get that and I'll show you the password in the description, uh, in the description below, so that you can also change, make any changes to it without any much problem. You get that. So, for instance, let me see this particular day, this one to have a password because I want to fast forward my data because I've already used a lot of time to talk about this particular issue. You get that. Yes. So, what we need to do over here is that let me see uh, where I can get the silver word. Okay. Okay, so this was what I just, uh, I just, I just uh, extracted. You get that. So all these are what 
that's 1001. The, all these are what? They are presets of the camera flow filter. You get that? Yes. And you can see as the extension is XMP. That's the extension for the camera raw filter. You get that? So all what you need to do over here is to copy it. After extracting, just copy it, this one. Just copy this one. Just like that. Copy it. Then when you copy it, you head over. Let me just do it this way. You head over to what? To your C dex. That's local dex C. Then you click on that. Then when you click on that, you come to user. Then when you come to user, you go to your name. This is ABN graphics. So I click on that. There is one thing that will not appear. So what we need to do is that the app data. You have to go to uh, view. Then you come to options. You click on that. Then when you click on options, then you come to view again. Then you get show hidden files and folders and drive. Then you click on that. Then you do what? You apply. Then you click OK. You can see the app data has just appeared just like that. Then you click on that. Then the next thing again you have to do is go to roaming. When you go to roaming, then you go to what? Adobe. Then when you click on Adobe, then you come to what? Camera Raw. This is Camera Raw. Then you click on that. Then when you click on that, then you come to settings. Then when you click on settings, all what you need to do is to do is to right click on it, then you paste it. Then you wait for the pasting to done. Yes. So let's just wait for the pasting to get all right. So let's see. It has now pasted on that particular distance. Then we just refresh it. Then we close up that particular distance. Then we can now come back to Photoshop just like this. So what I'm going to do is to import in another image, yes, and then I'll show that on that. Let me just let's import in this particular image over here. Then I go to filter, then I come to camera roll, filter. So I'm just going to wait for it to come so that you can see what I've just pasted. Then all what I need to do is to come back and click on my presets where you can find this. Thousand plus camera roll filter, camera roll presets pack. Then you click on that. And when you click on that, you can now use all these presets. You can keep changing any filter that suits to your image. Then you just have to click on that. You get that. Like this particular tool. It's very, very good. And when you click on the tab, it will, it will save it in the favorite place where you can also use it. So, you can change more for more filters depending on image correction. You get that? Yes. So that is how the installation is the process. This is the process of installing the process in Photoshop. And you can use it anyhow and any way you want. Yes. Without any problem. You get that? So this is how the, the camera filter works. And then when you have something like this, I just want to get some kind of filter there, then I can just click OK. Alright, so let me just use the 12. The 12, I think 12 is okay. So 12, let me just do this. So this was how the image is. And this is how the camera raw filter has changed it. As you can see, it has changed it drastically. And it's, it's, it's so distant. Let me make it some way be so that you can understand it very, very well. Out of this, okay. So this is before, this is after. So as you can see, it has some kind of difference. Look at this and look at that. It changed the image to different thing. Then after that, you just have to click OK and then wait for it for the camera roll, the filter to apply to that particular image, just like this. So that ends the problem. Thank you very much for watching. This is ABM Graphics. If you are new to this. Channel, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if you are already a subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. Yes, bye bye.